And while they're getting set up real quick, uh, I just want to point out that uh, these are just only two team members out of the LA Drupal website team. So we've got quite a bit. Um, anybody who has any help with the website, even supporting, please feel free to raise your hand real quick. All right, again, we, you know, we were, we were talking for them earlier tonight. This team did a lot of work. We met up at a, at a few barbecues, a lot of stuff online, a lot of Skype chat logs. I mean, I literally wake up, log in, me 352 messages. I'm like, wow, i got to read all that. So a lot of work, very proud of this team, and by no means at all are we done. Okay, so we're going to be looking for support and sponsorships from companies and also talent like you to help out with the site and help out with the group because we're a growing group. We're going to be doing a lot more throughout the rest of this year and of course next year as well. So if they're ready, then we can hand it over to Rain. Yes. Excellent. Rain, please show us what we got. All right. So starting here with the community credits page, which actually has more than just the website, but just to give you a sense of how many people have really volunteered on this project, it's been um, incredibly great. This is actually a beta launch, and, um, and it is in development. This is not the final site, um, and there may never actually be a final site, but there will be a, a non-beta site sometime soon, which, um, which is really now in Hellier's hands. Um, what we're doing right now is, is we just have the basic functionality that we wanted to offer in a place where you can actually see it, and we're using the Marinelli theme, which is a, a contributed theme that any of you can download, um, and we're just using it in order to um, have a way of presenting the site that looks um, decent and, and, not, uh, and not terrible. And um, what, I, what I also want to point out is you are seeing a bit of the graphic from the real theme. We do have a a snazzy, snazzy theme coming to, to be, um, and that will be the, the core of what Hellier will be talking about. What I want to do is just give you a really quick one run through of what's here, because this is now a resource for the community, and we really want you guys to start jumping on and using it, because until you do that, it won't be that useful. But once you guys start getting in there, it'll be very useful. And then um, give you a sense of what's coming, and then turn it over to Hellier. Um, so what's here? Um, about LA Drupal is, is pretty obvious. Um, it includes people who've really done a lot um, in the community. Um, and of course, out of um, credit to our sponsors, it includes information about our sponsors and, and how you can become a sponsor. Uh, so, so, that's, so that's there. You can find out more about people. Um, so you can find out about some of the sponsors, which are um, obviously community members. So, so that's important to know about. But even more um, sort of day-to-day -day useful for you, um, there is an events section. Some of these events will be pulled in from GDO. We are not trying to replace GDO. Um, for those who are new to the group, GDO is groups.drupal.org. Um, and that is a, a sort of a core hub of information. We're not trying to replace that. Um, we're pulling stuff in from GDO, but we also have unique content on this site that expands beyond what GDO can offer. And um, so I'm just going to scroll down. You can see, not only can you see the events that we post, which might go into great detail, but you also get the headlines for anything that's been posted on groups.drupal.org. So you can get that information and link over to that as well. Um, we're also pulling in recent photos from Flickr. So if you want to see photos from the events, I didn't bring my camera tonight, so we're not going to have many photos tonight. But, uh, but you can see photos from, from events that we're holding. Uh, these are photos from the site build project. And um, sorry, that's the admin menu module and the computer that I'm not used to using. <laughs> um, so we also have information about the many locations where we have meetups. Uh, this is obviously the main monthly meetup here at COSCAST, um, but in the effort to try to give people more opportunities to meet up, we do have some other locations that we often um, see each other at, and, um, and so some of that information is here. We're going to grow this out and give you more information on locations as we improve the site. Uh, probably my favorite part of the site, I'm trying to be quick, uh, but I'm, I don't think I'm being as quick as I want to be. But probably my favorite part of this site is presentation suggestions. This is for all of you. 
if you have a presentation that you want to give or if you have a presentation that you want to see. doesn't matter. If you can't give the presentation, that's okay. If you really want to see something, go ahead and put it on here and then people can come on and vote for the presentations that they see. Like for example, I don't want to give a presentation on caching options, but I sure do want to see it, so I posted that one. Um, and it has two votes. So as people start using it, if people come in and, and vote for it, um, Mike, I'm going to vote for something for you. All right. So, okay, this one's already been presented and it was mine, so let's give it a vote. <laughs> So um, it hasn't gone up to, to one yet because it has to um, refresh, but now that has a vote on it. So Mike has just voted for these demystified. And that helps us because we can say, hey, look, a bunch of people really want to see using workflow. Um, so since all these people really want to see using workflow, let's figure out how to get somebody in to present it, whether or not it's the person who presented it. If it's already been presented, then, um, okay, views is a good one to, to go to. If it's already been presented, you can actually go to the node itself. Again, the, this is just a temp theme. But you can go to the node, you can find out about it, and it has a link to the video or if there have been meetings that that presentation was given at, it'll have links to those meetings. So you can actually go and see the video as long as it's been posted on the site to, uh, for that presentation. In addition, you can post the videos and slides. So you are the community members. Once you have an account, you can say, hey, I have slides from this presentation, or I was sitting there with my flip camera and took video of this presentation, and you can go ahead and post it. Um, so, so this is incredibly useful. To submit a presentation right now in this, in this temporary theme, there's just this link right here, suggest a presentation idea. Um, and you can also, um, sorry, you can also kind of go in and, and look for things of, of a particular um, topic. So this is, we're hoping, going to be incredibly useful to all of you because you come here because you want questions answered, you want to know more about something, and this is a great place to do that. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, the biggest, most common question we get from people we approach to do a presentation is what should I do it on? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because we're usually hitting them up because we saw them do something or you know we saw what their you know, expertise is in. So we usually want their expertise. So please, anything you're comfortable with, you know, give it up. Do it as a topic, a session, anything. Um, we can even do it online if you don't want to do it in person. We'll work that out. But this helps us really crowdsource the high interest that you guys. Cause we know what you need to learn for Drupal, but we want to see what you want to learn. Thank you. Um, okay, so the next um, kind of set of useful things that we're trying to provide right now in this early phase of the site um, are a list of resources, which includes book reviews. Um, I'm sure everyone here has at some point thought, I need, um, I need a book, which book should I start with? Um, so hopefully, this, uh, hopefully the book reviews will actually help you. It's not just book reviews actually, it's for videos and, and other things as well. And not only that, but you can add a review yourself. So if you want to review something, you can do that here. But what we recommend you do is you search for a review before you um, post one because maybe it's already been posted and then you can add a comment. So um, let's just go into using Drupal, the review for using Drupal. It tells you all about the, the book. Um, and whatever the review is that the individual posted, Miguel posted this one, um, the admin menu, um, which you can see there. And then it also shows you any comments, and you can add your own comment um, and continue the review of the book. So we're hoping that this will be really useful for everyone in figuring out what books they want or what videos they want. On the subject of books, this doesn't exist yet, but um, Tommy, is going to be working on organizing a borrowing library of some sort. We all have resources, we all have books that we're not using anymore. Um, and so we're going to try to figure out how to implement some kind of a borrowing library and the ladrupal.org site will be the conduit to find out what is available in that library, what's, what's out, who has what, um, so that that can actually be orchestrated. If you want to help with that project, please see Tommy. Um, 
Oh, well, Rain can point you to Tommy if you guys didn't catch. He's hiding Tommy right here. Water, so, thank you, Tommy. <laughs> um, okay, also, we're hoping that this will be incredibly useful, but like everything else on the site, it can't be useful until people start using it. Um, so, we've started what we're calling a wiki of sample contracts. Um, many people in this room are freelancers or have, you know, one-person shops or something like that. Um, so at some point you've probably tried to figure out what your contract should look like. Um, if you have ideas for what those contracts should look like, please post them here. Not only that though, if you see something on here, um, so let's say you go into Handshake and you think, you know what, maybe that's not quite right. Um, this is actually set up wiki-like so you can go in and edit it. You will have the edit tab and you can go in and add your own edit, or you can leave a comment, whichever you prefer. And once a whole bunch of edits have been made, uh, you can go to revisions, and hopefully people will say what their revisions were, and then you can, you can um, see the log of how that sample contract has been revised over time, as well as see differences. So, um, please use that. I, this is a, a, an appeal to all of you to start using this because once you start using it, it's going to be an awesome resource. But until you do, it's just functionality. And full disclaimer, uh, we did not have any specific lawyers look at this. Yeah. This is all information that we are trying to share. So your mileage may vary, of course, with any of this. And, and if you, it, you know, you should probably consult your own lawyer at some point. And it says it right back. <laughs> but no, really, if, if, if you're ready to kind of come out of your shell a little bit in a way, you want to work with other agencies that need to subcontract you because there's a ton of Drupal work out there, a ton of people looking for Drupal talent, and you want to maybe start to look at how other people are doing it, this is one of the spots that we are sharing, uh, some of the tidbits that we've been doing in our own practices. So again, these are, these are guidelines and things to help you get started but don't copy paste and then just send it away. You will totally miss out on something if you don't read it line by line. Yeah. Um, archive of slides and videos. This is something that a, a lot of you will probably want. Um, so any slides or videos that have been presented here will be on this site. Right now it's actually one from, from a camp and, uh, and one from a meeting here just so that we have some content. But as we get slides and videos, Thank you, Ali, for taking video of tonight. Um, that will go up here. And you can also post these yourself. You can also bookmark things so that if you go into your account, um, I'm bookmarking something for you. <laughs> so I just bookmarked the views video. And then if I go to my account, my bookmarks for Mike, um, now it's easy for him to get back to that particular node because he's bookmarked it and, and it'll be there for him. And you can bookmark almost everything on the site. Um, I also think we plan to limit this too to just what we record at LA Drupal. I mean, there's yeah. tons of stuff out there. Every DrupalCon has videos published. Our Drupal camps have videos mm -hmm. published. We find stuff on YouTube randomly that's worth a damn to share. So I've been doing a lot of collecting and I have not had a proper outlet for a lot of those Drupal videos I've been saving for you guys, and this is exactly the place that we're going to be putting it. So tonight you see two. I definitely guarantee by the end of the year you will see over 200 videos and things listed there in that resource. Yes. Um, is there a way to post something that say is uh, available elsewhere online, like an embedded media type of? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking it's about. It's that. We should, we'll be able to post links. Yeah, we'll yeah. embed correct. Yeah. yeah, it's all embedded, and any of you can post. Yeah. So if you know something, post, please. Um, also, one of the one of the links, the, the last link off of the resources section, donations, sponsorships, and referrals. Um, on this page, aside from you know how you can donate and become a sponsor, um, are also referral links that you can make use of, um, and that is obviously helpful as well. Um, to, so, and at some point, also any discount codes and things like that that we are able to offer to the community. We'll start posting those as well. Um, okay, so now there's a, this whole community section. The community section is, is really, um, initially I said we weren't trying to replace um, GDO, and the 
core concept that we really have as the value of this site is really to get local people to know each other and what their skills are. And to that end, the local Drupal talent is really one of the cores of this particular site. Um, and what this is, is really us. When you log into this site and set up your account, um, you will be listed as local Drupal talent. And now anyone can go in and say, you know what, I'm actually looking for someone. Um, I'm looking for someone who is a theming expert. And, you know, you can specify an area. I, I won't do that because I, I want to make sure that somebody comes up. And then click apply and it'll tell you who is a theming person. Who, who does theming? So now you can quickly get to people, yes. Is Hellier asleep on the job in his photo? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Tom, do you, do you need to take him out? Um, okay, since I know what mine says, I'll, I'll go to mine. Um, you can then go into a particular individual. And again, this, you know, we're using a, a temporary theme for now. Um, but in here, it'll tell you um, hello, where is it? And where is availability? Okay, somewhere in here it says whether or not the person's available. But I don't see it right now, so um, take me at my word. <laughs> um, is this open for people if they had their laptops on, they could add themselves tonight even? Yes, yes you could. Um, but it also, you can add featured work if there's something that you want to feature. And the other thing is, I actually don't have anything in here, but um, who has a blog? Who, who's been working on the site? Who has a blog on your profile? Right here. Okay, thanks. So we're going to go over to Miguel. And right now, we're showcasing members because we want to make sure everybody kind of gets signed up so they're part of this. Right there. And we would also be adding organizations, so companies. And then you would even be able to mark yourself. We are looking for Drupal talent. So not just posting a job post specifically, but actually turning on, hey, we're a hiring, in a hiring phase right now for Drupal talent, that would immediately bubble you up in uh, those that are familiar with building Drupal sites, but it will bubble you up in the views that are being revealed to people that show the companies that are looking for Drupal talent. So by us having people and members mark themselves as available or not, and then later adding organizations, marking if they're hiring, uh, you can see that we're really trying to increase the frequency of people networking and hooking up to get jobs done for you guys. You know, get them work and get you satisfied clients. Um, so what I was going to show isn't, isn't displaying, so I think I need to figure out um, why. But what is here that you're not seeing is you can also add your own blog to your profile. And then um, it'll pull in headlines from your blog. And then let's say, you know, Miguel is a, is a great blogger and he's got a lot of useful stuff. Let's say you go to his page and you see that and you're like, you know what, this is a pretty awesome blog. You can flag his blog and say, I like this. And if enough people say, I like this blog, it triggers a notification to the managers and we'll, uh, we'll see it and then we can actually promote that blog into our feed so that it actually comes into the main page. Um, so it's a way really for community members to get their, their blogs out there, their information out there. And Miguel's a great example because he writes about very useful Drupal stuff and you might not know that that exists unless you see it here. Um, so we'll fix the fact that it's not showing up. Um, jobs. Those people who, um, who announced jobs this evening, there is a job section on this site. Now, we know that there's a great job section on GDO, and, um, and please use that. But this is intended if you're really looking for local talent. Um, so please post it here as well if you're looking for local talent, and then it will come into this space as well. And if you're looking for a job, please come here. Um, I'm just going to speed up a little bit. Uh, can I make a point to that? Yes. Um, we've gotten feedback, actually, that uh, if you post in the LA group for an LA job, uh, you know, if you're looking for a company or somebody to build a site, you get a call from Indiana or something. Because or India. You know, or India. <laughs> Indiana or India, yes. Um, but there are companies that are trolling our jobs boards 
pitching up clientele that are not really local. And it's fair game, it's public information, and the jobs are even cross-posted in other regions, of course. But what we would like to do is offer a much more detailed way that we can grow outside of the GDO and make things much more tailored for us. Okay. So right now it's double work a little bit. You want to post on both sites, um, but we highly encourage you to do so because you know we have now about a total of a thousand members. We've grown, so it's a lot of people that you'll reach out to if you use these two sites right now, and we will try to hook them up better in the future. Okay. I, I totally support this. I'm so happy to see that. But we need to have some sort of a, um, a reputation system so over time. Uh, it'll be easier to see the people that are, are working on, on career projects. That's, yeah. that's one thing that we have kind of discussed and thrown around, but this is exactly the feedback because then what we're going to do is try to really get, you know, hear what people are looking for, and we will talk internally about what we think could work, but we are looking for people to be involved to get feedback on that. Specific, I mean, that's heavy stuff, yes, because it really involves a lot of people, you know, kind of basically putting up or shutting up. Uh, and, and, you know, being on the site and actually being involved. You know, it, it, you, we don't want people being too complacent. If you want to be a wallflower, that's great, that's cool. If you think you can be more than that, we have a platform to really help you excel, uh, you know, locally. Um, Frank, please. Uh, so, so the next thing I really want to talk about is a couple months ago, Ali came up to us and said, you know, it'd be great to have a ride share on the site. And so we said, you know what, that would be great. So there's a ride share here. So if you're looking for a ride to um, Irvine for the Drupal camp, here's a good place to come. If you're looking for rides to these meetups, if you live, you know, I live in Burbank, I wouldn't mind carpooling. Um, if you're looking for stuff like that, then this is where you're gonna do that. Um, we also have lo other local user groups. If you're interested in Linux, if you're interested in something else, there's other local user groups, and you can add user groups yourself. Um, more information on Drupal Chicks, if you're a, a woman in open source, um, it's a great place to network. And also information on how to volunteer. Um, there's a lot of information here on how to volunteer because we run on volunteers. We are a, a community user group. Um, so that's kind of the, the really quick rundown of what's here. Some of what's coming include more discussion boards. Um, automatic hashtagging for events so that if you take pictures or videos or whatever and you put them up on your own social media site, you can add that hashtag um, in your tweet or whatever and it will automatically come into our site in the appropriate node. Um, so those, those are some of the many things that are coming. The biggest next thing that's coming is the theme, which I'll talk about in just a moment and then let Hellier take over for. Um, but I do want to point this out. Um, there is right up at the top this feedback link. This is still beta. This is a great time for you to let us know what you'd like. Please don't give feedback on the theme because this is temporary. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you have feedback on functionality, if you find a bug, if you find a security issue, whatever you want to do, um, please feel free to add it here. Um, we have some, some options as to what your comment to us can be, but we will get um, whatever your feedback is, and, uh, and then we'll figure out how to get you involved. At this point, we are now in a position where we can actually start getting people involved in specific things, rather than just say, come help on the site, and then everybody's sort of trying to figure out what to do. Um, Talking about specific things to get involved in, let's bring you up. Um, so Hellier is now going to lead the charge on the web-optimized theme. Um, sometime in the next few months, or sorry, next few weeks, I'll start leading the charge on the mobile-optimized theme. They will be different. But the web-optimized theme will be Hellier, and he's got a pretty creative way of tackling this with a large number of volunteers. That'll be some pretty cool information for you. So um, I'm going to let him take over. And, um, and after tonight, you can, um, you can actually take some of the theming work home with you or connect with Hellier and, and me later on in the week and get some theming work and actually help make this, make this snazzy theme that we've got happen sooner rather than later. Good way to put it? Sure. <laughs> awesome. So um, let me give this to you. Let's all welcome Hellier, Colorado. Oh, nice. Thank you.
you. Regarding uh, the LA triple site, how many of you are beamers? 